a really unique experience is coming to the Nashville area. It's a performing arts group from Ukraine. They're coming later this month, just one year after their country was invaded. Mm, it is sure to be a heartfelt and passionate night. And today we are joined by Mark Murphy with Oz Arts Nashville to tell us more about this incredible music group. First off, Oz Arts is really providing a window to the world. Talk about the mission and what you hope the audience takes away from this event. Well, Oz Arts is a contemporary cultural center that focuses on new ideas and innovation and also artists who are contemporary in the sense that they're responding to and confronting contemporary issues. These include local artists who are given a chance to experiment in our creative warehouse in West Nashville, as well as artists from throughout the U.S. And this year, we're especially proud to feature so many international artists, including Daka Braka from Kiev, Ukraine. It's amazing. And tell us all about Daka Braka, because it sounds amazing and so meaningful. Well, they were based in, uh, they still are based in Kiev, although now uh, some of them are living mostly in the U.S. Uh, because uh, a year ago, on the 24th of February last year, Kiev, uh, uh, Ukraine was attacked. Um, on t the 25th of February, one year and one day after that, Daka Braka will be here in Nashville. Yeah. They mix ancient folk songs and those complicated, beautiful harmonies with a real urgent passion of today. They are uh, putting a personal face in a way on the story and the real drama behind the headlines. Mm. It captures the urgency of what they're dealing with in Ukraine every day. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, now bringing it back to a local level, you are going to host at Oz Arts Dinner and Dialogue next week. Who will be there? What can attendees expect? Yes, while working globally, we're also functioning locally. And Conversations at Oz is an annual benefit and my favorite thing we do each year because I love a good dinner party. And this is a great dinner party, but it's actually 35 of them happening all at once in one big room. One is hosted by Mayor Cooper and his wife, Laura. Another by a acclaimed poet, Sianna Rouse. Another by the CEO of the hockey team. Uh, and another by the head of the Frist Art Museum. So it's thinkers, cultural leaders, business leaders, and civic leaders all talking about topics that relate to what's happening in our city right now and in the future. Oh my Very God. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to ping pong it back to the international discussion. What else do you have coming up that kind of brings this international outlook here to Nashville? Well, one of the things that our benefit does is raise money to make it possible to bring artists from around the world. This year, uh, this spring, we have artists from uh, Algeria, France, South Africa, uh, the next visiting artist we have after Daka Braka is uh, from Montreal, not too far away, <laughs> but Kid Koala uh, creates before your eyes a live film with 12 different sets, almost like uh, a giant toy train set of sorts, yeah. but they make a live film. In this case, the film stars a mosquito. It's called the Storyville Mosquito. There's oh. a live string quartet. He's a scratch DJ. That's his origins, and it's amazing to behold, projected large, above them. Wow. And then at the end of the, the season, the first weekend in May, Gregory Makoma from Johannesburg, South Africa, brings a beautiful piece mixing uh, heart-stopping, beautiful music mm -hmm. and live movement and theater. Oh, wow, always you. doing such amazing things over at Oz Arts. Thank you so, so much, Mark. We really appreciated you Thank having you. here. There is still time to get your tickets, ozartsnashville.org. You can get them right there. We're going to get another 